the majority of things that are desired within guitardom tend to be really expensive, typically beyond the reach of most people. However, every now and then, something special comes along that is bullshit cheap and awesome. These are the budget cult classics. And one of them that is gaining popularity and notoriety in recent years, I finally got to play. The Behringer SF300. So Behringer is a company founded by Ule Behringer back in 1989, and they mostly did pro audio stuff. This company got so big, they literally built a city on rock and roll. The city is in China, it's called Behringer City. Unfortunately, they currently are owned by a major multinational conglomerate sort of thing, so it doesn't have the down-home wholesomeness of someone who's claiming to be a family business or an artisanal small business. It's a major conglomerate. It makes cheap stuff that's usually a knockoff. However, they didn't make a single guitar pedal until 2005. Now, I'm not entirely sure if the SF300 was part of the 2005 launch or whether it was the second wave or something, but it has been around for some years now. The SF300 is based on the old Boss FZ2. And you can tell right away by looking at it, it's volume, treble, bass, gain, and three modes, fuzz one, fuzz two, and boost. That's the same on both of them. The only difference, Boss uses a concentric pot and Behringer uses a little switch for the modes. This is a dirt cheap piece of plastic and it sounds pretty damn good. <laughs> Shockingly good. Boss FZ2 is based on the old Univox Superfuzz, which I believe was built by Shinai. I'm not 100% on, on that. The Superfuzz is most notable for the Who's Live at Leeds sound. Just a massive, massive fuzz gain. So the Behringer SF300 is a photocopy of a photocopy. So Obviously it doesn't quite sound like a Univox, and it doesn't quite sound like a Boss FZ2, though good luck getting either of these. This is $40 Canadian, which means that everywhere else in the world, it's basically free. most interested me about wanting to go try this was some years ago Scott Holiday of Rival Sons was doing a rig rundown and he mentioned a little pedal that you could buy that he had rehoused and he said that is my secret weapon fuzz 
and I listened to it, and then people started making demos of the Behringer, and I quickly realized that's the secret weapon pedal. <laughs> So what's great about this pedal besides, obviously, the price and the sound? What, what, what the fuck more do you need? Th th that's all you need. But I didn't buy it, and I want to explain why I didn't buy it. Because Fuzz One is a great octave fuzz sound. And Fuzz Two is a just okay normal fuzz. Sort of scoopy, sort of big muffish but not quite and i have both of those sounds octave fuzz i have a mxr la machine which you can no longer get based on fox tone machine and then fettled with by i believe george trips so it's great just straight up great it's exactly the noise i want and then my great fuzz which is arguably the perfect fuzz for everyone the Mythos Golden Fleece, which I definitely should be making some more videos about or more praise about because it is so damn good. And because I have both of those, I heard the shortcomings of the Behringer, which is the EQ is too powerful, shocking from something based on a 80s boss pedal, and the cleanup is not great plus the fuzz is so much fuzz just from the start there's no real shade to the amount of fuzz you have which is actually true of the la machine and the golden fleece is actually just set fuzz so oof, i am really blowing smoke up someone's ass here <laughs> Because it doesn't clean up well, and because I can sort of hear it being consistently pushed to the edge of itself, I can kind of tell that at a louder volume, while it may sound good, it won't necessarily feel as good. Let's see, how much would those two pedals... Those two pedals combined would buy me... Math. Price of those two pedals combine would buy me about a dozen Behringer SF300s. That's... Uh, you ever feel you're just wasting your money? If you don't have a fuzz, if you're fuzz curious, if you've got $40 Canadian or five cents, any other unit of measure, just buy this thing. It's super cool. The boost, pretty useless. So, you know, just use Fuzz One. That's that's a hundred dollar tone and a forty dollar pedal.
Thank <laughs> you.